Winter cover crops can be planted in early to late fall in the Mid-South to provide soil cover, nitrogen production, and weed suppression through the winter and into the spring. Here are some commonly used winter cover crops for the Southeast. Austrian pea is a cool season legume. It has good biomass and nitrogen production. It may produce more than 5,000 pounds of dry biomass per acre and 90 to 150 pounds or more nitrogen per acre. A pea inoculum should be used to ensure good nitrogen fixation. Austrian peas also have good cold tolerance down to 10 degrees Fahrenheit. It is seeded at rates of 50 to 100 pounds per acre and should be seeded at a depth of 1 to 3 inches to maximize germination. Crimson clover is another cool season legume. Crimson clover is the most predominantly used clover in the southeast due to its rapid growth and tendency to reliably overwinter. It thrives on a range of soil types as long as good drainage is present. Clovers may produce 3,500 to 5,000 pounds of biomass, but generally they tend to be lower biomass producers than other legumes. Nitrogen production may range from 50 to 100 pounds per acre. Reseeding potential of crimson clover varies by variety. Crimson clover seeding rates range from 5 to 25 pounds per acre. Clover should be inoculated and seeded a quarter inch deep. Cereal rye is a common winter grass cover crop that can tolerate a range of soil conditions, including wet soils. It can be planted late in the fall in much of the southeast and still achieve good establishment. Cereal rye has also been shown to reduce losses of nitrogen from the soil in the winter. Annual ryegrass should not be used as a cover crop and does not have the same characteristics as cereal rye. Cereal rye may produce 2,000 to 10,000 pounds of biomass per acre. It is often seeded at rates between 35 to 90 pounds per acre. It should be planted at 3 quarters of an inch to 1 and a quarter inch deep. Winter wheat is often grown as a winter cash crop but can also serve as a cover crop. Wheat tends to produce less biomass than some other grass covers but may still produce 4 to 6,000 pounds of biomass. It is seeded at rates of 45 to 120 pounds per acre and at a depth of a half to one and a half inches. Wheat is a good scavenger of phosphorus and potassium from the soil. Black oats are an oat cereal grain often used as a winter cover crop. Black oats may produce two to 4,000 pounds of biomass per acre. Black oats may also help suppress root knot nematodes. Allopathic compounds in the oats, plants, leaves, and roots can suppress weeds for several weeks after termination. Black oats tend to be more low-growing than cereal rye or wheat, but can still provide good soil coverage and weed suppression in multiple cropping systems. Oat cover crops tend to winter kill north of Zone 7. Seeding rates range from 50 to 100 pounds per acre and at a depth of 0.5 to 1.5 inches. Brassicas and mustards are broadleaf plants commonly used as cover crops for their ability to suppress soil-borne diseases and nematodes. Glucosinolate compounds in the leaves of these plants are responsible for the pest suppression effects. The mustards tend to have higher glucosinolate contents. For optimum pest control, the plant biomass should be mowed and incorporated into the soil. This group of plants may also provide good beneficial insect habitat during flowering. Brassicas should be planted in the late summer to early fall to ensure good establishment for overwintering, but they can also be planted in the spring prior to a summer cash crop. Mustards should be terminated prior to seed set. Seeding rates vary based on the crop chosen, but mustards are usually seeded at 10 to 15 pounds per acre and at a shallow depth of a quarter to three quarters inch. It is important to note that the seeding rates mentioned in this video are wide and general ranges. Different applications, regions, and methods of cover crop establishment will require more specific seeding rates. Check with your local Cooperative Extension Service for more information.